Hi everyone, Miss Sarah from the Woodcock Nature Center here and today I'm going to show you some fun nature crafts that you can do at home. I love all kinds of art and I love finding inspiration for that art out in nature. So today we are going to do three different crafts all with acorn tops. So um, some of the crafts will take not a short amount of time and then some take a little bit longer but we're going to do three and I'm going to show you each one in advance and then also the materials that we're going to need to do them. Um, so the three that we're doing today are, we're going to do these lovely acorn pom-poms that you can make into garland or a necklace. We're going to make acorn gemstones, which I have in my hand right here, and we'll zoom in on those later. And we're going to make a cute little mushroom terrarium, all using acorn tops. Okay, so here I have a box full of beautiful acorn tops. Um, so you do need acorn tops to be dry before starting any of these crafts. And you can collect them, you can put them in a box or a tray. Don't put them in a bag because that will make them kind of moldy and mildewy. So dry your acorn tops first. All right. Okay, so the first craft we're going to do is acorn pom-poms. And you can turn them into a garland or a necklace or just have them um, sitting in a dish. So this one takes uh, no time at all. Um, and the tools we're going to need are our acorn caps, pom-poms, and then a type of glue. So you can use Elmer's glue. It will take longer to dry, or I recommend using a hot glue gun. But if we have younger viewers, you might need adult supervision with a hot glue gun because they can burn skin. Um, so you're gonna take your acorn tops and a pom-pom and just kind of fit them together. Different sizes, you might have to play around with what looks good. Look at this one, a little sparkly one. Oh, too small. Maybe he lives in this one. And you can mix and match. It's up to you how you decorate your acorn pom-poms. So I'm going to use hot glue right now because it dries instantly. So we'll take this yellow one and it fits snug right in that cap. I think that's a good fit. And just a little dab of glue, not too much. And then you're going to hold it for just a second. And that's it. All done. If you are using Elmer's glue, you're going to want to put that acorn down and not touch it for at least an hour to make sure that the Elmer's glue has dried. Now, notice I did take an acorn top that has a little stem because if you want to turn it into garland or tie it onto something, you need that stem to tie the twine around. So if you are gonna turn it into garland, you're gonna need some twine as well, any kind, yarn, whatever you have. Fishing line could even work. Um, to tie those together. And I also would suggest adding a little dab of glue to where that twine is. So here's a necklace I made. And you can see how I tied it. Just a regular shoelace knot, twice, and then a little dab of glue so it won't come off. And there you go. Pom-pom acorn necklace or fun garland. Okay, our next craft is what I call acorn gems. Um, and this one does not take that long to create, but it does take a while for it to dry, a couple days, um, but really fast to create. So um, here we have some more, and you can see some are shiny and some are not shiny. I'll get to that in just a second. But what you need is, of course, our acorn caps, washable markers. I've only tried with washable markers. I haven't tried with permanent, so I'm not sure how that would come out, but you can experiment. Um, Elmer's glue, Elmer's white glue. It's very important that it is Elmer's white glue. And then you need something to rest the acorns in while they're drying. So I have just a bit of black clay. You could use Play-Doh if you have it, or also what we can use is just a cup, a yogurt cup, or con some container with dirt. That way the acorns can just rest as they're gonna dry, okay? So let's get started. So you're gonna take an acorn cup, Pick whatever color marker that you want it to be. So we'll take purple and you're just gonna color the inside. And you wanna get everywhere, all the edges, all around. You can mix colors if you want. Um, I'll show you one that I made, a rainbow one. Or you could do a pattern, try to do a pattern, see how it comes out or just do one color, whatever you want to do. Okay, so let's see how the markers all the way around the edges and in that middle, okay? And we're going to set it 
in our tray. And then we're gonna take the Elmer's white glue and you're gonna fill it to the top. All the way to the top. Okay. And then you're gonna let that sit. And actually after about maybe 30 minutes, you're gonna see the marker color start to seep into the white glue. But you're gonna let that sit and sit and sit until it's all dried up. So what happens, the white glue actually mixes with the marker and creates kind of that layer that you see underneath. Now this one has just white glue. You can see it's not shiny. If you do wanna make yours shiny, like some of these, here, here's the rainbow one I made. Check that out. So if you wanna make it shiny, you have to make sure that the Elmer's glue is completely dry, the white glue is completely dried, and you can either use, um, put on a glossy finish. So there is, Elmer's makes a clear glue, and this is shiny, and you can put that on top. That's how I made these shiny, or um, any kind of decoupage, glossy, uh, Mod Podge, yep, something like that, and you can coat them to make, give them that shine, or maybe you don't want the shine, maybe you want it just like that. Again, it's up to you. And you can see how many different colors came out, and those are our acorn gemstones. All right, the last craft we're gonna make today is this little mushroom terrarium. So the things that we're gonna need are acorn caps to be the tops of the mushroom, sticks to be the stems of the mushrooms. You're gonna need a little container for your terrarium. So I had this tiny little pot. Um, you could also do it in a mason jar if you have one or um, any sort of container. You could upcycle a yogurt cup if you wanted. Um, so you're also gonna need dirt for that terrarium and anything else that you want to decorate around your mushrooms. So I have some moss and maybe some pretty stones. Okay. Um, the other things you're going to need is you're going to need paint to paint your mushrooms and you're going to need a hot glue gun. So this one does require a hot glue gun. Um, other glues won't work because they'll take too long to dry and the acorn top will slip off. So you do want to use a hot glue gun to glue the top of your acorn onto the stick at the end. Okay. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna paint our mushrooms. Um, and you can paint the sticks as well as the tops. For this one, I did not paint the sticks at all. I left them because I thought they had some nice texture on it. Um, but I can show you another example. This one, you can see I did paint the stick, the stem, white. So right here I have some sticks and some tops and you can choose whatever color you want. Um, I will give you a kind of trick that when you're doing an acorn top, it's easiest to pick it up and kind of do the edges. So we'll do this one kind of this red color. So see how I'm doing the edges first to make sure that it's coated all the way around. You will get messy. Art is messy, that's okay. But that way, I've done all the edges. You can also paint the inside once the top dries. And then now that the edges are done, you can paint the top, making sure that you get the whole thing covered. And you will have to let it dry in between coats. So you can cover that and then let it dry. So I have this one that I've dried and I'll show you how to do the dots. Um, instead of using the tip of the brush, you can actually use the back of the brush to do the dots. So if I dip it, now let's get this out of the way. If I dip it in the white, the back of the brush, and then whoop, just touch really lightly with the bottom. It makes a perfect little circle. So you don't have to spend time trying to make one with the brush. Okay, and then we're gonna let that dry as well. So here I have a stem, stick stem that I've painted and a top that I've painted. You can see I painted the inside as well. And the last thing you're gonna have to do is glue them together. So this is where the hot glue comes in. We'll take just a little, just a little dab. 
like that. And hold that. And this is where you can adjust how you want your mushroom. Do you want them kind of sideways? You know, mushrooms don't grow perfect. Sometimes they're on an angle. I kind of like them on an angle. I think they look more natural than if they were perfectly balanced. And that will be dry in just a few seconds. So now that we have two full mushrooms, you can decorate your terrarium. So here I'll do it in this little mason jar. And the reason you can see I chose to do the sticks longer because that's gonna have to be in the dirt so that it stands upright. So we'll just bury that down as far as we can go. There we go. And then you can decorate it with some moss or maybe a stone. And there you have it. There's our little mushroom terrarium. So thank you everyone for watching um, our nature craft video with our acorn pom-poms for garland, our acorn gemstones, and our acorn terrariums. Happy nature crafting!